Hey, Weber, I want to show you some of Carl's toys out here by his motor coach. He wants to show off his little red Ducati motorcycle. Now, I don't know much about motorcycles, but I would say that one probably goes pretty fast, Carl. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. My buddy Daryl Jones at Jones Power Sports uh, hooked me up with this Ducati. It's a 1098. It's this new. It's, they say it's got 160 horsepower, which is about 150 more than I need. Wow. And that will go uh, roughly how fast? I don't know. All right, let's talk about what else you've done this weekend. You have your mountain bike over here, correct? Yes, that's that's my mountain bike there. And then we've got Tom's mountain bike over there. We get the appropriate metal militia stickers and stuff on it. And uh, we go mountain bike and we take these things all over the country. And it's really pretty fun. Uh, what else do we have there? Uh, we have something here that you guys did Thursday. I'm afraid to know exactly. We've got Tom, your coach driver here. And what exactly did you guys decide to do earlier this week? Well, Tom is... Uh, you go ahead, Tom. Yeah, tell, tell us about this thing, Tom. What, no, you wanted to interview Tom, didn't you? Right, yeah, let me interview Tom. Okay, here. I'm giving up the mic. Go ahead. Okay, all right. This is Carl Edwards here with uh, Tom Jockey, Office Depot crew member. What, what, what do you got? This is a metal detector I got for my birthday from uh, Carl Edwards last year. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It makes time go by. When you got a rain delay, you can go out and scavenge around. I like fun. We, we went out yesterday, and uh, I shoveled. Tom metal detected, and um, how much did you find? We found over eleven dollars and change on uh, the Pocono slopes here. So <laughs> we, we went to the ski slopes, man, and we found it got so bad. We, we dug up a lot of pennies, a lot of dimes and nickels, and finally Tom said, "Forget it. We're only going digging up the quarters. It'll tell you when you well, find a quarter." How do you know? It all, it all tells you when you find a quarter. Oh, it's got a little readout, huh? Yeah. Tom, you can take us and show us how this works, okay? Okay, we'll let Tom do that. And 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 we got to point out that Tom does not shave on purpose because he's not shaving again until Carl wins. You got to get this fixed, man. The poor guy's never going to get a date like this. Look, man, we got <laughs> the dudes out metal detecting on the slopes with a giant beard, trying to you know just trying to get by, trying to make it in life, you know. There you go. See, that's how you do it. You he find a quarter, a quarter right there. Very good. He found a quarter. And you have to win a cup race for him to shave, right? Yes. Yeah, it's coming though. He's running really strong the last few races, so. Okay. Are uh, uh, you, you have the shaving <laughs> materials for the young man? Yeah, we got all the Gillette, you know, the Phantom, the whole deal. We're, we're <laughs> shaving materials are no problem. It's just uh, the winning part. The winning is hard. It's difficult, but uh, I have a feeling we, uh, you know, we we bonded a little bit. We went metal detecting together. We found eleven dollars, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, it could be a sign of a great weekend coming. It, 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 it's semi-frightening to me, fellas, how excited you were to find $11 in quarters yesterday. Oh, let me tell you, you dig up about 10 or 12 pennies, you find a quarter, <laughs> I mean, you're jumping up and down. It's like, Wait, you should go get your shovel. Show me, I mean, your yeah. shovel's this, it's a military shovel, isn't it? There's people turning off their TV by the hundreds right now, but let me, I'm going to get my shovel. Help. Yeah, go get your shovel, why not? Was, was he a good help, Tom? What's up? No, was he a good help? Oh, yeah, he was a good help. He was uh, always on the ready to dig. He's how do you go ahead and you well, dig? Yeah. You, no, I, I don't need to dig on TV. <laughs> but essentially, what the funniest part was, I'm sitting there digging. We dig, dig, dig. Tom got a little greedy. He's just telling me where to where to dig and stuff. And finally, I, I pull out this clump of dirt. We're trying to find the quarter. And the quarter shows up. He just snatches it out of my hand. He's like, there. It is. It's like Tom. You realize how fast you just stole that quarter from me? He didn't even realize he was doing it. We sat there and laughed for about two uh, minutes on that one. Oh, uh, the things race car drivers will do to entertain themselves. They go searching for quarters on the ski slopes on Saturdays. You never know what you can find. You know, somebody right. might lose a ring or something. There Tom. you go. There, there you go. Right, I hope you get to shave today, Tom. Okay. Thanks. All right, man. Bill. Hey, don't walk away. Well, you, hey, Carl. You I want just talked to Carl. That's yeah, right. Go I, ahead. Carl, I just wanted to thank you. I, I know that was a big experience for you going out to the Big E, but I wanted to let, uh, thank you for letting us come along because it, nah, it really, man. it really got the uh, the troops some exposure and gave the fans a chance to see something they, nah, they might never get to see. Thank so. you. And I, I mean, we joke around a lot and everything, but that day, I mean, just just like everyone who went, I mean, me and you and everybody else it was it was moving i mean to realize the sacrifice um just can't thank tnt and everybody enough for doing it because uh, it was a, a ton of fun and thank you to the sailors out there and we'll be uh, hopefully seeing you again sometime all right make sure you get the tapes okay all right cool